Chantel Malone in the women's long jump. First look at this competition is in the third round, right in front of the stands here. Don't forget horizontal jumps and throws. We're into a final three. We'll be seeing a final three in this. And that uh, Chantal Malone after an indifferent start, 36, 34, 6, 38 in the first two rounds. That looks a bit better. Pan American Games champion from 2019, the 29-year-old. Uh, well, right on the board there, as I was just about to say, good speed. Just a little check on the last stride, but hits the board well. And rewarded with moving up into the top three, 665. Ivana Spanovic, who's had her own injury problems in recent months, had a broken metatarsal. Had a no jump in the first round. So, Ivana Spanovic. Well, that's good. That's decent from Spanovic. It's good to see her back competing again. Gets the white flag. Giving away 12 centimeters to the board, but good speed on the runway. Six seventy four in round three, her best effort of the competition so far. Women's long jump, then I like uh, the arm bow. Two no jumps so far for the German. So, round three. Bit of pressure building here. Oh, that's much better. Excellent speed on the board. Good height on takeoff. Trying to leap ahead of Ivana Spanovic, who was leading the way with 668 in round two. Six eighty two, she's on the board and she takes the lead. Well, Marina Beck Romanchuk, who is not yet guaranteed a place in the final three, but she is a real expert when it comes to pacing herself and winning competitions. We had a couple of trials of the final three format in 2020 and she won on a couple of occasions here she is in round five and that is good from the ukrainian 651 in the first round 664 in round two 658 in round three and the big names starting to close in here trying to seal their place in the final three look at that Almost inch perfect on takeoff, giving just three centimeters away to the plasticine. Well, 679, a season's best, and it puts her into second place. Just checking on the uh, phone for um, the bus at home. So you walk everywhere from us. Not too far from the city centre here. And the Italians have had plenty to cheer tonight. Great to see uh, plenty of youngsters here. This love to the final three of the long jump. We've just seen Beck Romanchuk in the very last round doing enough to get through Spanovic a little earlier on in round three. We saw her 674. Uh, Chantal Malone had been in the top three since the third round, so she misses out. This is the jump we saw just a moment or two ago. So Spanovic, Romanchuk, uh, Bek Romanchuk, it's, it's the big names, the experienced athletes, and uh, the athlete Malika Mahambo, who 
She's got that great speed on the runway, doesn't she? And led the competition from the third round with 682. So there, just a recap for you. You can see there, Beck Romanchuk, the only one of the three who's never jumped beyond seven meters. And incidentally, this year, already four women have managed to do that, including Chantal Malone. And she'll be really disappointed not to have made this final three. So in reverse order then, first to go will be Ivana Spanovic, trying to get back to her very, very best. 31-year-old from Serbia, hitting that board really well there, not perhaps as far as she'd like. She really wants to put pressure on the other two. The first way you do that in this format is to get a legal jump in, and she's done that. A little bit behind the board, but I guess that was it's not exactly playing safe, but you've got the legal jump in. It's only 6.56. <laughs> uh, but in third place coming into this, I guess uh, she was thinking, all right, just get a legal jump in and then see what the others do. So 6.56 for Spanovic. Bet Romanchuk then, who I mentioned, won in Stockholm and Doha in final three jump-offs last year when the trial of this new format started. And, of course, it's all designed to give the full stadium in front of the crowd to the field athletes. Often brilliant performances get lost in the hurly-burly of of track action, not anymore under this new trial format. So Beck Romanchuk then with a target of 6.56, set by Ivana Spanovic with Mihambo still to come. World silver medalist then. Oh yes, oh no, red flag. And that's the downside. It's high risk, it's winner takes all. And you can have the best five rounds of your life. But it's what happens in round six that matters. Yeah, and that was a good jump as well. Um, but as you said, that's the, the format here, the final three. It's uh, high risk, a big reward if you get it right. Mihambo then, her target has got a little bit easier. 6.56, the world and European champion from Doha requires. Isn't it nice to be able to have the crowd behind you? And she urges them to get involved. Come on. And they do make a difference. Malika Mihambo then, on the runway. 6.56 she needs for the victory. Oh, flat. Really no height at all. Now then, she has the white flag, but just didn't get any lift at all. Well, I don't think she's done enough. No. <laughs> giving 10 centimeters away. I don't think she's done enough, Steve. No, nowhere near. She just, as you said, didn't get the height. I uh, was reaching for it at the end there, but goodness me, Spanovic, because, what do you mean I, I, I won with 6.56? But that's the way the final three works. So Spanovic comes out on top. Mahambo, who had been leading, does get second place. Bekramanchuk third. And you can see <laughs> how disappointed Mahambo is. It was a poor effort from her at the end there. Shake of the head, smiles for Spanovic. 